Hello, so we are back in. This time, we have a nice pizza here. <laughs> Actually, it's a nice laptop. Anyway, pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. Check that you can see the, the clock. Not sure if you can see it. Probably not. Anyway, this job is coming from a local repair shop. Was booked in for a new screen. They ordered the screen. They replaced the screen. And the screen still doesn't have backlight. They feed back the old screen and they send me the laptop. So the problem with this one, no backlight. Now we know the screen has been replaced already. Yeah, so it's not a screen. Then uh, yeah, you can see now the clock here. Yeah, you can see the clock. I think the best we can do is to go to the motherboard and check the backlight voltage. You know? I mean, that's what you have to do. But you have to understand the picture and the backlight are two different things on the screens. Same like on, on the TVs. TVs, the screen is taking power from the power supply board. And the picture is coming from the logic board. So same here. On the TV, in the backlight, we have around 100 to 150 volts. Uh, backlight voltage on the laptop you have around 25 up to like 40 volts backlight voltage so they are about the same oh lol this is the one which is <laughs> check here so this is not like you know the the battery doesn't have screws no you cannot put screws on this battery so you put the battery like that you put the back cover and that's how the battery is sitting inside of this laptop yeah the asus design acer right it's acer or asus what is this one acer <gasps> have you seen what i seen yeah the hinge is broken i'm joking check there you have like a big black spot there let's check under the microscope what is that Huh? What is that? I mean, it's making sense the screen doesn't have backlight. Let me unplug the battery. And... Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see the ribbon cable. But you know what? The screen, uh, the screen flex is good. Check here. So not sure what happened here. I mean, clearly, yeah, everything is blow up here. Check here. This is a piece of truck. Yeah. And here, yeah. So what do you think actually happened here? I'm trying to make sense. Some capacitor goes shorter than the thing blow up, or uh, the 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 connector, the screen connector was shorted, and then this blow up. Huh? I mean, not sure what is this, but definitely we don't need it. I mean, check that the power button is next to the the screen. This, not sure what it is, but we don't need it. And what is left is some rubbish here. Not sure what is this, but definitely we don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it. Good. Now let's clean it. Yeah, you know what? It's not looking that bad. Huh? So how we can fix this? Now the requirement for the backlight is the main power rail. So plug in the connector back. And we need to find 
the main power rail. I mean, check here, you can see, eh, we have here, we have a dual MOSFET. So dual MOSFET, that's a power supply. Now, a power supply needs voltage from the main power rail. So the main power rail is, is this one. Yeah, check here. So probably here is supposed to be a capacitor, here is ground, here is plus. So if this is plus, where the plus is going on our connector? Here. So the plus is here. But the plus is supposed to go to these three pins here. Yeah, and it's not going. So the solution, the solution is very simple. We need a proper calibrated wire. Just joking. Uh, a wire, you need a wire, that's all what you need. So this wire should be enough. Yeah, this one. So I'm gonna use some rosin, like usual. Just a little bit of rosin here. Of course, we have to solder a wire there and here. Not that much rosin. Solder wire, you can solder here and here. And now the wire itself from here. To here. Huh? A decent repair, right? Let's broke the wire. Perfect. That's a proper repair. What do you think it will work? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Plug in the battery. Pressing the power button. The laptop it is coming on. Yeah, we do have a BIOS battery, that's mean the screen it will come on straight away. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this repair? Someone said this is pizza. Yeah, I told you from the beginning it's looking like a piece of pizza. Let me shut down the laptop. Hmm? You you said it's not it's not a proper repair, it's a dodgy one. Now you have to you have to calculate the risk. So trying to go on the back of the connector where you have some proper oxidated uh, pins, that's that's kind of tricky. So I prefer soldering here. I mean, it's no reason to take the connector out. If you really really want to replace the cable, let's say you can desolder the wire, suck the solder, you can open the connector and replace the wire. But otherwise, it's no reason. On the other hand, if something bad happened, now we have a tiny wire. So something happened, that fuse, that wire can be a fuse and can blow up. So we upgrade the design. Yeah, That's an improvement. It's not dodgy. I forgot about the hinge. This is crazy. Okay, the hinge is still good, but the screws are moving. Yeah, the hinge should be, should be fine with this screw. Now, yeah, this is, a, this is a quick repair because I'm not that much money here. I have to help out the computer shop, which they diagnose wrongly being a screen issue. So they pay for the screen and actually it's not the screen. And you know when they when they told me and I said when it's no backlight, most likely it's not the screen. I mean, it can be the screen. We found the screen being uh, the problem, but most of the time it's not the screen. Is the cable? Is the motherboard? You don't have the backlight voltage. Is the LED on signal from the EC chip? Is the dim signal which is coming from the EC chip? So there are a lot more other things to. Think about it when it's about uh, no backlight. Yeah, the laptop is coming on and it's working fine. Moving the ribbon cable, yeah, looks fine to me. Good? Perfect. I'm gonna stop now. Hopefully you got some points how to deal with the backlight issues. 
Thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.